Get ready for the bright colors and delicious taste of lemons. I've got lemon DIYs for you, and as always, DIY treats with a lemon theme, of course. Welcome to my channel, Craft, Eat, Repeat. Hey guys, it's Anika, and welcome to my channel, Craft, Eat, Repeat. I'm so excited because spring is right around the corner. Summer is almost here, finally. And I can let my kids out to play without bundling them up in all their snow gear. So today's video is another part of that collaboration of awesome YouTubers that I love to collaborate with. And we decided to all get together and come up with some lemon decor. So this is perfect because I am so ready for spring and summer. And I really hope you enjoy the DIYs that I came up with. And then after you're done watching them, head down to the description box and check out the other videos with so many more amazing ideas for lemon decor. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing to my channel. And everybody, hit that notification bell so you'll be ready when my next video comes out. And after the video is over, head down to the comments below and tell me which DIY was your favorite. And also let me know what are some ideas of things that you're planning on doing this spring and summer. I'd love some inspiration. I can already start making my list of some things that I can do um, to get outside of the house and just enjoy the warmer weather. Okay guys, it's time to craft. So we're gonna start out by making some mini rolling pins. To do this, I'm gonna grab this toilet bowl plunger that I got from Dollar Tree and some of these craft painting sticks. I always have some of these laying around that I forgot to wash out and they're all dried out. So that's what I'm gonna be using for this. I'm going to cut my plunger stick into four inch sections. I skipped over the little part that had the sticker on it. Of course, if you wanna use some sandpaper, you could always sand that down and use that portion too. Next, I'm gonna use my saw to saw it into four inch portions. And then I'm gonna mark off my stick that I'm gonna use for the handles. Now, this stick was about four inches long, so I'm gonna cut them into one inch sections using my saw, and guys, be careful when you're cutting these. I don't want any injuries. Next, I just need to sand it down to make sure that it's flat and even. And I'm going to be gluing these together, so you want your surfaces to be as flat as you can possibly get them. Next, I'm going to use some white chalk paint and I'm just going to paint all over my rolling pins. Now at first I thought I was gonna want both of these white, but later on I decided to change that, as you'll see later. Now to make the wooden part of the handles, I'm just going to mix up some chalk paint with an equal part of water, and I'm gonna use that as a sort of stain. I'm going to paint it onto my smaller sticks, making sure to get nice coverage all over. And then once that's done, I'm just going to wipe it off with a paper towel. This looks really cute. You can still see the grains in the wood and it looks exactly like stained wood. Next, I decided to change one of mine to yellow. I wanted to give it that pop of color to go along with my lemon theme. So I'm using this Waverly chalk paint. The color is called Maze. It's adorable on this and just bright and cheery, perfect in time for spring. Next, I'm going to use a pencil and I'm just going to write whatever I want on here. Now I've got a lemon theme going, so I wanted to write Squeeze the Day. But if you want this to be just more of a farmhouse theme that you could use all year round, you could write home, you could write kitchen, any of those words that are usually on farmhouse themed items would work. Next, I'm gonna get my paint pen and I'm just gonna go over the letters that I initially wrote in pencil. If you have stickers, you could always use those instead of trying to freehand it, or if you have a vinyl cutter, you could use that too. Once my letters are dry, I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun and glue my handles right on to the sides of my rolling pin. Thank you. 
And that's it, adorable mini rolling pins. I decided to add a little bit of twine just for another pop of color on there and they look perfect on a tiered tray or on a cake plate that you're decorating for spring and summer. Next, I wanted to use some of these pretty picture frames that I had at my house to make some signs. So I'm going to use the frames along with some of the candle holders that you see at Dollar Tree. So I popped the glass out of the frames and I'm just going to paint them white. The square one was already painted white from another project that I had already completed, but I still went over it with the chalk paint to make sure that they matched. Next, I'm going to use a dry brush technique to come back along and give it a little bit of an aged and weathered look. All dry brush means is I'm going to get just a tiny bit of paint on my brush and then I'm going to wipe most of it off onto a paper towel. Then I'm going to come back through with my almost completely dried brush and just lightly paint along some of the edges of the frame. This is going to make it look like it's a little older than it is, a little weathered, and perfect for that farmhouse look. I'm going to do the same thing with my candlesticks, which I also painted white. Now, once all of these are finished, I printed out these cute little sayings to go along with the lemon theme. One says, fresh squeeze lemonade, 25 cents, and the other one says, easy peasy lemon squeezy, which my kids definitely got a kick out of. I'm going to take the glass out of the frames and just trace around it on the paper to make sure that it fits exactly into the frame. And guys, I decided to use this craft paper. I liked the natural look of it. You can really use any paper you want and any saying you want. I'll go ahead and link these printables in the description box since I already made them, but you can really put whatever you want in these frames and it would be beautiful. Next, I'm gonna pop everything back into the frame and make sure to secure it nice and tight. Once that's done, I'm ready to assemble them onto my candlesticks. So all I did was use a little bit of hot glue and glued it right onto the candlestick. Now, make sure when you're doing this that you look at it from a few different angles, from the top and from the side, to make sure that they're standing up nice and straight. Once those are finished, they look beautiful as they are, but I'm going to add a few flowers to cover up that hole right there and also to give it a little more visual interest. So I pulled out some flowers and I decided to use white and yellow to go along with the lemon theme. And I'm just going to use some hot glue and just glue them all along the edge of the picture frame. I love how this looks with the ornate look of the picture frame. I feel like the flowers give it a little bit more of a romantic look and just really complete and round out the style of these picture frames. I'm gonna go through with my biggest flowers and then come back through with some smaller ones. And once they're done, I have these beautiful picture frames that I can change out the picture, the saying, anything I want. I just love the way these came out. Next up, some easy lemon napkin rings. I'm going to use these shower curtain holders that I got from Dollar Tree along with twine that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue on the inside portion of the ring. And then I'm just going to wrap the twine all the way around and I'm going to cover the entire shower ring with the twine. Now I was inspired to make these by some napkin rings that I saw on the Kirkland's website. They were really cute and really easy to make and they're only $2.99 which is really not that much unless you need to make a bunch of them. This way I can make a lot of these for only a few dollars with items from the Dollar Tree. 
So once I have the whole thing covered in twine, I got some lemons and these are some artificial lemons. They do have lemons at Dollar Tree for a dollar a piece, but I got a pack of 12 lemons for about $9 off of Amazon. I'll link those below in case you want more than just a few lemons. It's actually cheaper to get it this way. I'm going to tie a piece of twine around the lemon and this is just to make sure it's extra secure. You could always just use hot glue to attach it, but I wanted to make sure as I was moving them around and using them for picnics and table settings and things like that, that my lemon would stay nice and secure on my napkin ring. So I just tied a little twine around the top piece and then I'm gonna use some of this greenery from Another DIY that I did where I had a ton of leaves left over because I only used the flowers. And I saved those leaves and I get so excited when I find a DIY where I can use them. So I just slid that right down on the twine and now I'm going to attach it with hot glue. Once again, this is just to make sure that everything stays nice and secure over multiple uses. Next, I'm going to take that twine and wrap it all the way around the remaining portion of the shower curtain. Now when I wrap the twine around, originally I kind of stopped right where that connection goes so that I could slip the lemon on a little easier. And now I'm just going to cover that last portion up with the twine. And really that's all there is to it. You can make a bunch of these for picnics, for potlucks, for beautiful table settings as the weather gets warmer. These would be perfect. You guys, I cannot get enough of those mini rolling pins. They were so easy to make and I think they're adorable. Head down to the comments below and let me know which one was your favorite. So if you guys have been following my channel, you know I like to add a little treat just to keep life a little bit sweet. And with the theme being lemons, I could not stop myself from making some delicious lemon cheesecake bars. These things come together so quickly and they're perfect for spring picnics, summer potlucks, whatever you need. These things are just amazing and everybody loves them. So I really hope you enjoy the recipe. Okay guys, it's time to eat. Okay, so we're going to start out by, with a 9 by 13 pan and we're just going to cover that with aluminum foil. You want to make sure you have extra foil hanging off of the edges because we're going to have to lift our bars in and out of this pan a few times. Next, we're going to use some non-stick spray and just spray it all over our foil. I'm going to use some crescent roll dough to make the base of my bars. You can also use phyllo dough if you'd like. And we're gonna pop that in the oven for 15 minutes at 350 degrees. Next, I got two lemons and I chose to use Meyer lemons because they're a little sweeter. I'm gonna zest them and juice them. Next, I'm going to put the juice of two lemons and this equals about three to four tablespoons and some of the lemon zest. I'm going to use about half of what I got from the two lemons. I'm going to add some cream cheese and I'm going to use two blocks. And then I'm just going to use a hand mixer to mix all of that together. Next, I'm going to add my sugar and I like to add a few drops of vanilla. This part is not in the recipe, but I do think it adds a little something special. I'm going to blend that all together. Next, I'm going to take my dough and after it's cooled down for about 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to add my cream cheese mixture right on top. Now, if you think it's hard to resist looking in the bowl when you make cookie dough, try to keep yourself from eating this. <laughs> Next, I'm going to get another pack of crescent roll dough and I'm just going to lay it right on top. I'm going to cut off the edges. Of course, if you used a slightly bigger pan, you wouldn't really have any extras to cut off, but I just want to make sure that it's not too doughy around the edges. And I'm just going to press it down and make sure that it fits into my pan. Next, I'm going to use about two tablespoons of melted butter, my lemons that I zested, and a few tablespoons of sugar. I'm going to mix the lemon zest and the sugar all together. Next, I'm going to pour or brush my butter right on top of my dough. 
and I'm just gonna spread that butter around so it's nice and even. Next, I'm going to sprinkle my sugar and lemon zest mixture right on top. After this bakes, it makes this sweet, lemony, crackly, crunchy sugar crust that is just to die for. I'm gonna pop that back in the oven and once it comes out, I'm gonna let it cool for about 20 to 30 minutes. Once it's cooled down a little bit and the cream cheese has firmed up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Make sure to leave it in the foil because you're gonna to wanna to use that foil to lift it back into your pan. After I put that in the refrigerator for at least an hour, they come out and they are these delicious cheesecake bars with sweet, sugary, lemony goodness right on top and they are to die for. I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. Let me know which one was your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, please guys give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel so much and I am so grateful for all your support. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time when we repeat it all again.